some of our coverage areas in the foothills of the Rockies. Lots of farming, there's lots of industrial properties along the way as well. And it's fairly spread out, so the density is very low. People that live in these rural small communities that have no or very little service, they're usually often very frustrated. And so the digital divide exists all across Canada, both in urban centers and in rural centers. We hear from residents that they go to the city and park at the Tim Hortons so that they have internet connection, so that their kids can submit assignments and do their homework. And in 2022, that's just not acceptable. And so here we are today. Um, we've been able to self-fund that, you know, call it 225 kilometers of fiber infrastructure. We're actively building or have completed four communities. Sturgeon County actually is our first, what might be called a private-public partnership. Sturgeon County wants uh, fiber because we're interested in future innovation, things like precision agriculture and uh, other technology that can move our community forward. In the town of Grand Cache, we heard too many stories, sad stories of parents saying that they had to choose which child got to be educated that particular day because mom and dad were home and multiple kids and there just wasn't enough bandwidth. So today we are having a celebration. We are celebrating our one year active residential customers. So one year ago, we connected our first residential customer here in Grand Cache. The services that we're currently providing for residential services are all fiber-based services from 100 megs all the way up to 2.5 gigs, symmetrical. We're leveraging now the fiber infrastructure uh, with the help of Galax and some of their equipment to provide these industry-leading services to these communities that were desperately underserved. Our partnership with Calix is such that we can leverage all their technological know-how, their service development, and really offer something that's very professional and far bigger than what our company actually is. That's been really exciting. It's wonderful that a company like ours has access to an app, that we can offer parental controls, that we offer Wi-Fi 6. By leveraging Support Cloud and Operations Cloud, we just get those insights in the network at a very granular and detailed level all the way to the end customer's device. And it's been hugely helpful for our technical team to troubleshoot, but also just to keep focus on the network, traffic management, etc. Some of the advertising that we've been able to do and work through the marketing cloud has been unbelievable. It's really as though we've had professionals develop this content for us. In five years, we want to be serving 30,000 underserved rural Western Canadians. In having the right technology partner, we really believe in our ability to scale and grow. Alex has played a very important role. One thing that I'm abundantly clear on is that you cannot do this alone. You need to build relationships and partnerships with the right vendors to help you along the way. That's why I'm so happy that we use Calix in our network and in our customers' homes and in our businesses' homes.